Welcome back everybody. And as I promised on Instagram, I actually am going to be installing some of these amazing little bad boys right here. Some actual Sanwa joysticks in my arcade one-up cabinets. And uh, I've got seven of them now because between my four cabinets, there's seven joysticks. And uh, I'm just gonna do one of them for this video, the one that has the most joysticks, the Rampage cabinet. So I'm gonna like show you guys the process. I'm gonna like take it off and show you that the control panel coming off. I'm gonna show you all the wiring in the back and I'm gonna kind of talk you through what I'm doing and kind of let you see the results a little bit. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's get these new uh, joysticks installed. This is one of the new joysticks and uh, you can see it has the same kind of, it's my dog's in the background, it has the same kind of like top that the Sanwa one did as the ones that actually came. Uh, with the arcade cabinets and these are the actual ones. Let me make sure you guys can see that well Yeah, they're called Sanwa Denshi and uh, These are the legit high-end ones. I'll show you what the, they look like inside the box, too they pop out with like with to have the ball in there and then They have the joystick just inside a bag along with the cable that it sits on and it already has a guard underneath it and I'll show you guys that guard so the guard, you can it, you can kind of tell. Let me get close to the camera here. Um, it this is kind of like a uh, four-way guard, right? There's some octagonal ones that you literally see an octagon inside here, and that's because when the joystick is moving, you you you'll there'll be natural spots where you'll feel it like stop, like right there in the corner, right? And um, what the reason why I wanted these, the big reason, is if I start playing a game. Welcome. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. See how much I can move the joystick here and not actually move the character? This is my worst joystick out of like all the machines that I actually have. It does work. I can go the directions I want to go, but if, I don't know if you guys can hear the click. If I move it until it actually clicks, it has to go over pretty far before the click actually happens. Now the sand was. The reason why these are so nice is like as soon as you move it a little bit, you guys can probably hear that clicking, even the tiniest little bit. So like these, and they have a lot more resistance to them, just a lot more pressure. So when I get these babies in here, they're just going to look amazing. That's kind of the whole point here. So let's get to that. Now fortunately, there isn't a lot you need to do to get the joystick panel off. There's just four screws here. And then it lifts off and there's one cable in the back you got to unplug. So first I'll just power it off. And uh, then I'm actually, I'm even going to go behind it and I'm going to unplug it from behind. So I want to be sure that that's not going to have any power, cause any problems. These are pretty low wattage though. I mean, you're really not going to cause much of an issue. Um, it's not like, you know, you have, you don't even have 120 volts AC going into it because you already go through a DC converter on the way to the actual cabinet. So it's already dropped down to DC voltage and very low amperage before it gets there. So you're not really in any like electrical risk at all working on these if they were plugged in. But I mean, you don't want to damage the components, right? It's always just a good idea. It's a good best known method to just unplug things before you work on them. Okay, so now here we go. You, can, you guys can see now there's the cable on the back, the ribbon cable. When I unplug that guy, and notice how one side of the ribbon cable is all red. And uh, that's how you can tell which side, of, and also there's the tab on it. You can tell which side is the key. So now you can see this box. I'm going to have to just open it up to access the joysticks. And there's just a few screws, like here, 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 then a few in the front, here, here, and here. I'll just take those off. And uh, then I'll access the joysticks and we'll go to step two. Okay, so let's get these things taken apart. Now what I've got here is I got a towel for myself. And uh, that's because when you take the joysticks off, they're gonna be sticking down and I don't want them to scratch the table. So I'm just gonna set down the towels right here and make them kind of lumpy. So the joystick can sit on it and not scratch the table underneath, but also have a nice little stable platform to be working with. There we go. It's 
off the back. Now I'm not going to get it all flipped around. I'll keep it like this so I know the orientation. And uh, you can see those joysticks right there in the back. And gosh, look how cheap they are compared to the Sanwas. Not even close, right? And I wonder how easy it's going to be to get the orientation of these things down right. Now here's another thing that's interesting. Okay, let's I'll keep these plastic rings for the sand walls over here. Maybe I'll do that with all of them first. Okay, that one's already off. Okay. So, um, you notice what's interesting is the sand wall joysticks. There's pins bent on this guy. There we go. So, um, the sand walls actually have a plug, a five pin plug. And the arcade one-up joysticks looks like they don't they just actually have uh the wires set up just straight up right here and let's see also i'm seeing one two three four five six seven eight wires okay that's an eight wire setup oh but it goes to four plugs four plugs Okay, hold on here, people. We're going to have to figure out some wiring here. So these wires are going here to there. Okay, that's an eight wire plug. And these sand walls are five wires. Okay, time to do some engineering. And just in case you guys need something else to do, um, if your kid has stuffed animals and things that you just really want to get rid of, now that you've opened up the top of this cabinet, it's it's got another use. You can just, just get rid of them, right? Dad, you take my Undertale toys. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I was able to do a bit more debug and discover something. You'll notice that when I connect these together, it beeps. This is a continuity test. And what I discovered is that this controller is these eight pins. This one is these eight pins, and this one is these eight pins. And what I also discovered is the bottom pins for each pair. Like there's a pair, there's a pair. So that's common, 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 common. And the reason why I know it is I connected up my digital multimeter, which by the way, I've had this thing since college, quite a long time. In fact, it's even, it's Radio Shack, look at that. So that'll be, that'll beep, but this one won't. That'll beep, this one won't. No, that won't, this one will. So that pin, that pin, that pin, that pin are all connected. And they're all the ones that are on this side of the board, which is here. So that means this yellow wire and this black wire and this green wire here and this red wire here, right there. Those are the ones that I will pull those out, clip them, solder them together, and they will solder to what is the common pin on the Sanwa controller. And that's how we'll get them to work. I'm gonna do that right now. Okay guys, so I mapped this all out. I used my DMM and I measured a Sanwa controller, which by the way, you can see it's actually was glued down a little bit. So I took the screws out and popped that sucker off. And the Sanwa is gonna go in right there. And so what I did is I used my DMM and I connected to all the wires to figure out which wire was which. And then I already knew which way these ones were, so I connected all these ones together, the ground ones, and I had to figure out which way these ones were. Because remember, when this is upside down on the controller, this is the top and that's the bottom, and this is the right and this is the left. But when the joystick is going to the right, it's actually activating this switch, right? So that's right and left. And then if, if this is up, then on this side is up and that's down. So that's up, down, and then right and then left. So it's a little bit of backwardsness that's going on there, right? And of course that's the same on both of them. So I went ahead and made this. And uh, this is a map here. You can see the Sanwa and you can see the five pins that are coming out. And I already know the, this one on this side is the common ground because I used my DMM and figured that out. And I figured out that the green is left, yellow is right, orange is down, and red is up. And you can see that right on the actual wires there, right? 
There's the black, the green, the yellow, the orange, and the red. And so I know exactly what they, they do. And I verified it with the DMM. They're all doing the right control. And then I wanted to make sure this guy was doing the same thing. And so that's what this one is. Now, since this guy has two switches on each of them, you see I had to take all those commons and I had to wire them all together and send those up. And then each of the single, uh, the switched wire, or you could call it the signal wire, I needed to figure out what colors on here match with the colors that are going to be down here on the board. And that's what you've got right here. So this is Sanwa color scheme on this side. Oh, sorry, Arcade 1-Up on this side, and Sanwa is on this side. And so now I basically know I can get all those comments together, and that ties to black. And then the yellow goes to green, the black goes to yellow, the green goes to orange, and the red goes to red. And that's how I'm going to wire it up. So then what I did is I came over here to my board, and I pulled off all those commons, and they are all now, they're all wired together. And then these are all the signal wires. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder the black onto the common and then match up all those signal wires just like my diagram here. So I don't know, I don't think I'm going to record myself doing that, but I got my soldering iron right here. Because that's, that's boring content. You guys don't want to see that. But I'll do that. Okay. So I've got it all soldered up. There it is. The new sand was around there. You can see those babies right there. Look how much more rugged they are. And you can see I zip tied these all up. So they're going to be nice and uh, tight. And um, the sand walls, I had to drill new holes for them because they weren't in the exact, that they didn't have the same size plate on the bottom as the originals. And I made sure to get them all straight. And uh, we're going to do our first test here. And I'm being a little bit quiet because my daughter's already gone to bed. So let's see how this works. Exciting moment. I'm only going to put in a couple of screws just in case I got something wrong. Okay, big test. Let's see what happens. Good so far. Okay. Boy, this sure feel better. Okay. So I'm going to do a uh, rampage because you can have three characters on and I can test all the different directions. Okay. So all the buttons are working, seems like. I haven't tested all those. Good. Good. There we go. It works. Welcome. Okay. Oh, that seems pretty good. I'm barely having to move it here. This is so much better. Baker, 100 points. Okay, it totally works. This totally works. Okay, turn off the volume for a second. Okay. So it all worked perfectly. The wiring diagram I gave you guys was exactly right. And now I have one last exciting thing. Not only did I do the Sanwa joysticks, but a really awesome guy on eBay that I'll be leaving notes for in the link below. He actually sent me these bat tops instead of the, um, the original ones that are these round ones. These ones are actually more shaped like the arcade ones. So let's put these suckers on. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is so much better. One last thing before I go. I got to give a big shout out to Josh at Best Deals Free Shipping. Let me show you his uh, eBay auction. And this is where you can get those bat tops, those awesome joystick bat tops, the ones that I just got to try out. Um, I just used the black, the blue, and the green on um, my Rampage cabinet. And I'll be using some of the others on my other cabinets here. And I got to tell you, like those, they just screwed right on. The threads worked perfect and they were not very expensive. And 
they just feel great. You know, they give you the, the feeling instead of that round ball top, which I don't remember in any arcade, having that nice bat top joystick really like just, just seals the deal and brings back the feeling of arcade. So thank you, Josh, for those. And they were fantastic. I love them. And I'm going to put the link for those below in the actual video. So there you go, guys. All of you have a great day.